if you remove all this from your bedroom, it will no longer be rejected. It will no longer suffer anymore. Anything rejection will be no more in your life. There are some people that anywhere they go, they're always being rejected in their workplace. They are seeking for a job. Anything, like their love life, they are always rejected. People will take others in place of them. If they're in a relationship, the man will disappoint and take somebody that they are better than. You're already married, you find out that things will be going left, 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 left. Things may not be working for you because there is an evil surrounding you. And these are just natural, you know, just natural. Everything is not caused by the evil ones. There are some things that, that lives with you in the house, in your bedroom, that you need to take away. Like seriously, you need to take them away so that good luck, good things will come to you. So the first one to have in mind, okay, before then, in case you are new here for the first time, you are so welcome. My name is Pamela. I share spiritual messages and tips on this channel. So in case you come across my image or somebody claiming to be Pamela, telling you to bring money to do spiritual work, know that the person is a scam. I don't do any of that. I don't I don't sell spiritual items. May God bless you. Check out other videos of mine. Just go through my videos. You see lots of lots of tips that will help you, that will guide you in your spiritual journey. You doing them rightly with faith. It must surely work for you. So in case you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate you so much. You are the best. Yes, you are the best. So consider subscribing to this channel in case you have not. Like this video and also share this video. Let's go. So you need to take away these things from your bedroom. So I've shared so many things to get out from your house, from your living home, from your bedroom. But this particular one, I've not said it before, like these two items, you need to take them away. You need to take them away before it's too late. One of them is broom. So I know people use broom, okay? Any broom. It can be foreign broom. It can be local broom. But taking them away, I mean, is there's a way to stand your broom. Not to attract bad luck. So that it will not attract evil to your house. Normally, you don't keep broom in your bedroom where you sleep. You are not supposed to keep broom inside where you sleep. I know many of us don't do that. But you just have to continue washing. This video is not only your bedroom where you sleep. Also, your kitchen. Also, your sitting room. Any part of the house. The way the broom stands, I'm displaying it for you to see. This is the normal way broom supposed to stand. You need to keep it standing by the corner of the house. Do not lie it on the floor. Do not lie it. It has a strong spiritual meaning. So when it comes to spiritual, you know, you need to know that there are some ordinary things that you may take common. But you need to stop it because the world is more spiritual than physical. There are little, little things that you take so common, which may be causing problems to you without you knowing. So everything is not that outside people will bring evil to you. You as well, there are some things you need to remove from that environment so that it will not naturally attract evil into the house or depriving you from enjoying your life. Proper way to stand the broom is like this. Avoid keeping broom, the brittle, facing up, the way it's showing like this. This is the wrong way to keep your broom. Please do not keep broom like this. Do not even keep it any, anywhere in the house. Be it your compound, outside your house, but still in your compound. Do not keep it like that. It attracts evil. It brings wishes attack. It makes people to suffer. Anyone that lives in that house to suffer. It attracts wishes. It makes wishes to find your house as their coven. It shall never be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. If you find out that your house set or somebody that you stay with or somebody that you, you brought into your house is keeping broom that way, please, anytime you see it, return it is not good it can bring disaster okay so you have to take note another thing about broom though i'm not supposed to share it but i just remembered now do not lie broom on the ground and pass over 
I'm not saying stepping on it. Stepping on it is not evil. I mean, lying broom like this. You see the way it's lying now. Do not keep it like that and jump over it. Instead, pass. Avoid it. Do not cross it over like jumping and pass. No. Avoid it because it brings evil. It can deprive you of so many things. There are some people that have not put to bed. It can make them to have miscarriage. It can also prevent someone from carrying Israel child. This is not only for women, remember. It's generally for everyone. So when you see broom lying like that, either you pass, avoid it, or you stand it normal way. Remove it from the road, okay? So that things to be right for you, okay? So the next one, strange ways, strange clothes. Do you have some um, strange clothes that have some drawing, some images, strange images on it? Please avoid wearing such thing, okay? If you have any clothes, you know, wrapper, duvet, bed sheets, you know, any kind of material at home that you have in your house that is bearing some strange animals, snake, if I want especially snake, please burn that clothes. If you see anyone like that in the market, do not buy it. Do not bring it into your house. Snake, spiritually, attracts evil. It's natural, it's created by God, of course. It's not supposed to be harmful. Anything you get, your children clothes, make sure that there's no image of snake or, or any strange, strange images on it. Be it shoes, handbag, wears, duvet, you know, pillowcase, anything like that. You have to be very careful. You have to be vigilant. You have to be watchful. There are so many things to get out of your house. I just feel like sharing these two. These things are things that has been bringing pains, evil to people, rejections. They don't know about that. A bad snake, it attracts marine spirits. It makes you to be doing so many things in dream. Having spiritual spouse can deprive you of so many good things. It can frustrate one's life. It can make one's life miserable. So do not start what you cannot finish. So I just want to share this. In case you have gotten a cloth so beautiful top or any anything at all, t-shirt, and you see those strange images that you don't know, even if that t-shirt is so beautiful, please do not buy it. Do not get it. Okay? You don't know the source of it. You don't know what it may bring spiritually. Before you start praying, check around you. Check out all these things. Go through my videos, you will see so many messages like this. These are things you need to know to avoid Adino. By the grace of God, the power of God will flow and open your eyes. Okay? Open your eyes so that you know the right thing to do. Do not ignore things all the time. Do not be ignorant so that you will know when God is speaking to you. So that you know the right thing to do. So that you know that this world is mainly spiritual that you know and things will start working well for you then when you pray it will just be working for you because you're always careful as long as your ways are upright your hands are clean things must work for you may god bless you so thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe share and like this video i'll see you in my next video